Back to interloper. Okay, we should. Uh, nice storm coming up. We should have enough dried gut now to make our mittens. And then we're gonna. And we're going to make a move down to the dam. <clears throat> Wood is becoming scarce here. And, uh... <clears throat> we, there's enough wood down at the dam to hang out for a little bit. I got a couple, uh... pelts here. Deer pelts. I got another one at the dam. I can make deer pants as soon as we get everything together. As soon as we get, uh, I needed more dry gut. And three there. And here we go. Okay. sewing kit look like 55% all right Need to make some more water very soon. Let's go ahead and eat this while we're crafting. Let's go take a look outside real quick. Cured 72%. Cured. Yeah, wood's becoming scarce. Wood is becoming scarce here at the uh, camp office. Much. We got some reclined. I think I can make a fire with the magnifying glass. Yeah, that's good. make some water and then we'll go back and see if we can finish up the mittens then we'll take inventory and see about making a move to the dam Make up a whole bunch of water. Uh oh. Alright. Not getting an arrow. That's terrible. Yep. There we go. I 
boats just make up a ton of water. You got a free fire with the mag glass, so. We'll just make up a ton of water. Hey Steve, how you doing buddy? Hope your day is going good. Okay. Did not come back yet. Hey, Turkey Stream. Go over here and see if we can pick up some sticks without getting into too much trouble. Took a nice condition hit making water because uh, the fire wasn't hot enough at first. And I did not pay attention to it, so. But if we don't run into any trouble, we should be alright. We'll get it back. into the derailment yet. And I do not have a decoy on me, which is bad, but... Thinking it's looking okay here for a moment. See if we get anything here. Oh, there's a wolfie. Uh oh. He sees us. I 
Let me see this. Where'd he go? I just wonder where he went. Which side? Well, we couldn't check everything there. I don't want to... I don't want to deal with this guy. Maybe we'll draw him to the house by the porch. And get him. I don't have a decoy on me. He's going back the other way. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. I did not have a decoy on me. And he went away. Alright. Well, we made a ton of water. I should have dropped some here, probably. Really weighs us down. Alright, Wolf. I didn't have a decoy, and I'm not messing with you. We'll check our stuff. Check our decoys. Where are they? 41%. 18%. Yeah, we made up a ton, a ton of water, so we're good there. As a matter of fact, we'll drop some. off our mittens. Okay, now we got some mittens. We got another deer hide down at the dam. And we can make pants then. I like these decoys to... Come on, drop down to... Zero, so they're guaranteed to drop. somewhere. Did I pick that up? Yeah, I was going to shred that. Let's drop that for now. 
Hop it. Hop it. Yeah, pretty soon we're ready to move to the dam. What do I have on me? How many hours is this left? Okay, we got one hour on that. eat this meat and then uh yes I saw he did Michael was a foraging fool he made out he made out pretty good he did well now all he needs to do is wait for his gut to cure and uh he can make him his bow and arrow guy yeah he did well very well Harvesting three, cooking three, fire four, ice fishing, could be a lot better, I haven't done a lot of it though, archery could be a lot better, and mending, well we get by, alright, that's uh, that's something to eat, I know the guts do take forever five days or something uh, it's 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 an extremely long time that's for sure condition yeah I, I burned a lot of condition I was making water and didn't even didn't even realize it was cold a very bad mistake but we'll get it back yeah down at the dam there's there's a lot of wood and we get more uh, more deer build another snow shelter make the pants down there and then uh, then we'll be ready to move the coastal highway we've uh, we milked mystery lake for everything it has pretty much I mean, as long as we got wood we can do stuff but pretty much the uh, trappers is cleared out this place is cleared out Lake cabins got some stuff, but the dam, the dam has a lot of uh, a lot of wood that you can get. I'm 
since it cooked venison, 28%. Okay, that'll be the zeros soon, and we'll have a good decoy. Zero percent decoys get an X through it, or pieces of meat get an X through it, and it's guaranteed it drops the decoy first, which is which is helpful. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all we got left to do here. I mean, I got all that meat on the porch. There's days if I had. Uh, It's, uh, I don't know, on the ice, man, they, they, they skip or something, and, uh, and the wind can, uh, the wind can blow your arrow around on the ice, too, pretty quick, so, it's, uh, it's, it's, you gotta, you gotta get a good hit on the ice, I mean, if you miss it, your chances are you may, well, you see, you know, Steve, you've lost how many arrows on the ice. Alright, what else? What do we got going with our hides? 91. Well, that give me a... Does that throw off a scent? We walk through the door, do we get a scent? I'm not getting anything. I mean, I'm pushing a button and I'm not seeing anything, so... Maybe it doesn't. Your gut. These guts are almost cured. Got a bunch of samplings cured. Oh, I can drop this book. It's already done. Yeah, I want to. Uh, I want to fix this hammer. I hope this. Uh, hope this repair doesn't fail. I got one piece of fur. Okay, good. Eh, 72. Better than what it was. The sapling in the vise. Well, the weather looked pretty lousy out here. Sewing book another hour or two. Wherever that went. Uh, all we needed was that little bit more just to get another hour in. <laughs> Don't get greedy, Steve. You know what happens when you get greedy. Greedy is no good in this game.
I want to take a, a good amount of wood with me into uh, the ravine in case a storm blows up, which it usually does. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to move over to Coastal Highway. I haven't been to Coastal Highway Desolation Point. Don't get greedy. Hey, day 30. We got our boots, mittens. We'll have our beer pants soon. Have any clock on me? Yeah, uh, four pieces. Okay. Alright, let's repair. Yeah, warmth bonus plus 23, protection 18. That'll bump up when we the warmth and the uh, protection will bump up and the wind protection when we get our pants. Then we'll work on the coat. Coastal Highway will work on the coat and the uh, making some more arrows and stuff like that because it's got the outdoor thing there. But wood is an issue also there. And wood's an issue everywhere. A coat, I'm, I'm sure, will help immensely. A much better coat. Now this thing wears away quickly, I think, this vest. Yeah, it's some, I don't know, sometimes it's just cold in there, period. It doesn't, seems like no matter what you uh, wear, but all I'm going to be doing is foraging for wood in there. through it yeah I think 30 days yeah day 30 
heard of that thing. Sewing kids. Put them on the guy and they'll disappear. This one won't because it's got 3%, but it won't let me use it to do anything. before it wouldn't even start the wheel so you put all your trash in a dead guy and it'll disappear old flares ninety seven we're ready to maybe tomorrow we can move out of here head to the dam I know I got uh, hides there and, and gut, but I don't know how much gut. I got an army, two of them. Take down that snow shelter. I need those for what I'm going to do, don't I? I'll make an arrow. by hand. Make an arrow by hand. Okay. Wonder if it makes it any lousier. You got three at a hundred. One at 87 and one at 73. 86 on a bow. Not too bad. We got three cured maples at the dam. So we can make another bow or two if we want. All we got to do is watch our indoor outdoor hours. So we don't get cabin fever. I, I don't know. It, it said an hour and a half. And I switched to the tools. And I don't know if it speeds it up or... But I'd rather save the tools for... Uh, if I need them to fix the axe on the hammer, so anything you do by hand, it might sometimes it takes less. I'm in no hurry. I can. Uh, feathers, more feathers, that's one thing I don't have, what do we got here, 99, yeah, looks like maybe, maybe tomorrow, so, to <laughs> Turkey Stream, you, uh, you had the bear following you and you dropped your guts, and then you went on your way a little bit, messing around on the ice, and I think that bear followed up and it grabbed your guts. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of what happened to him. Yeah, quality tools are, are better. They 
probably speed up the fa process faster, you know, a little more faster. Yeah, that's the only thing that I could think happened to your guts was uh, <laughs> the, the bear came up, took him, and went on his way. a lot inside today we did the mittens and the uh and then we made a couple arrows and some shafts so Finish off the sewing book. We got an hour left on that, two hours, okay. The aurora must be up, huh? Yep. Dark, dark travels are, I try to refrain from traveling in the dark, traveling in the aurora, I mean sometimes you're forced to, but uh,
Yeah, the fog is uh, fog is a real pistol, also. All right, let's see what we get. See how we're looking. 85. We can only do 90 with the uh, frostbite. Could probably sleep another hour. No. Cured up, I believe. Got three at a hundred. Three more shifts we made. That cured gut. Everything is repaired pretty good. We just got all that meat on the porch. Let me repair that. Hat made good bait. those a ragged hoodie seven percent still come on Yeah. 
heavy going to the dam. We got a lot of water. You can drop some of these torches probably. We got the pelts. We got the cloth. Let's see how it is out here. Arrows down, feels like minus 18. Very nice. Sapling is so I lose <laughs> I lose one uh, one arrow's worth of weight when I make saplings into a uh, into arrow shafts. Which ain't gonna help a whole lot. stuff to take all right turkey thanks for stopping partner We'll be freezing to death in 45 minutes. One arrow down. Probably be freezing to death. I'm going to spend some time out here. to be pushing on from this three legs soon not uh, there's a lot there's a lot of wood at the dam that we can get and we could probably hang out there for a while I know we can make our pants there and that and it'll be time to move on move on out of mystery lake going to coastal highway we haven't been to Coastal yet, so everything's wide open there. Get a ton of cloth there. The thing is the wood, always the wood. You got once you get once you get set up with some food, I mean you can if you do fishing, you need a you'll be burning wood all the time. But you know if you even if you hunt, you're gonna have to wood, burn wood to, to maybe maybe get lucky. You could harvest it without a fire, but it's rare. And uh, everything just takes wood. Everything keeps you keeps you moving. One 
and uh, all right, let's try to harvest this thing. Okay, let's now get an arrow up. That's cool. Something to eat and read the rest of this book. Yeah, that's the that's the whole thing. Hunting or fishing, I mean whatever you're doing, you gotta have the wood. You got to have a ton of wood. We get a ton of wood at the dam. And we can hunt and we get a lot of wood there and you know. Make our pants there and we'll just wait for everything to cure up here and something premiere is done. All right, where's the gun book at? officially puts us out of books. We have no more books to read. We have read every book we found. Oh, I'm sure we'll, we might find some more coastal highway. But we can, uh, we could probably hang out at the dam for a little while. I mean, as long as we got wood and there's, there's deer to get. I mean, if we're lucky, we bag a couple deer that are right next to each other. I, I mean, I've done it. I've, I've hit one at Trappers and had the other one come, you know, walking right across the thing toward the dead one and nailed the dead or the other one right next to it and was able to harvest both of them right next to each other. So we get something lucky there. The only thing is there's, you know, usually a wolf around the dam. So that's going to throw a little wrench into things. We have to really watch ourselves. Hang around the dam, it's alright. You gotta cross that thing, because I don't have the bedroll, you know, so that makes makes it a, a bit tough. You gotta have the bedroll, man. Bedroll makes life a bit easier. But uh, if we go to the dam, we can go down on the ice behind the dam, go up on the other side, check out the cave that's there. Sometimes, uh, might get a book in there, who knows, might be some matches, might be, who knows, a log. Fur log you can fix the hammer with, so. Yeah, all our stuff should be, should be cured up. Yeah, there's... Even, you know, even with the bear not it being at trappers, spawning at trappers, there wasn't any, there wasn't any deer there. And I, I'm thinking if I go back there, I mean, there's no wood there anyway, so we basically we can't go back there. And there's, there's some wood in the uh, lake cabins that's left here, but... Well, I think we'll just push down to the dam and continue on our making our uh, making our deer skin pants and then we'll have those done. Then we'll push across the ravine and the coastal highway. Get a bunch of cattails on the way down. Never. Never pass up the cattails. No matter, 
no matter how much food you got, never pass up the cattails. They don't go bad, they'll stick with you. Let's check our hours. Oh boy. Yeah. It's not too bad. 451 indoors and 311 outdoors. I'd like it to be 400 outdoors, 400, 451 indoors. I mean, I think this is the very, but the the best run I've ever had as far as hours, indoors and out. Well, you're looking at a lot of hours to make the uh, deer skin pants. Um, believe me, the. The early forge trip really helped. That was three days worth of outside right there. So, I mean, when I got when I got back from the forge, and I looked, I think I was 20, 20 hours more inside than I was outside. I mean, it was such a, a very tiny margin. I was I was really shocked. But going to the forlorn forge, it, it helps you because you're outside the whole time. But wood there is an issue also. There's deer there. I mean, you could get food, but it's just that wood is an issue too. Or you could stay there for, you could spend a few days there if you wanted to, as long as you had wood and you made your bow and arrow. books to read. No more books. No more books. They are all read. I'm not going to carry them down. Your gut. This is cured. This thing done yet? One percent. Now that'll give us two decoys. Scrap metal. I could probably fix the hacksaw with it. Won't be doing much fishing. Don't need leather anymore. So, do I have any of that on me? Yeah, we can drop that. I don't need leather anymore. Got a lot of ant dis or antiseptic. Yeah, we don't want we don't need cabin fever. We don't need it at all. Well, maybe uh maybe in the morning with fair weather. We can get out of here, we'll go to the dam. Three whetstones, that's it. I have about one on me now. Yeah. Drop that. Drop that. We'll keep those. I got this scarf, but I'm not entirely sure I want to waste it. I'm not sure I want to harvest it. We got a lot of water to take. But everything here has been pretty pretty depleted. We depleted everything here. Didn't find a bedroll here either. Everything's gone. All the scrap metal we could get everything.
I know. <laughs> I know sometimes you'll start a run and you'll be thinking of stuff that you had from the previous run that you don't have and I know. Yeah, all the runs start running together, all the <laughs> all the plays you watch start running together. Hopefully in the morning we'll make a push for the dam. Get over there, drop off our stuff. We got uh we get out of here with this. We don't need the leather. We got plenty of rabbit pelts. 99%. Plus it'll take a gut to repair it. My boots are already 97%. That's terrible. These things are supposed to be durable. <laughs> Michael, Michael was having a fit on the way to the forge. Michael was having a fit. Every... <laughs> Every step to the forge he was taking, he, he figured he was going to die with every step. He was so worried about getting there. But he, once he got there, he made the most of it. He did a heck of a job forging. What's this thing at? 20%. Well, there's some torches here. If we need them. We won't take this stuff, that's all leather stuff. Yeah, maybe in the morning we'll get out of here. It's kind of late now. We'll craft up another... shafts I got one feather right Wasted all my warmth breaking twigs there. Yeah, we'll sit in the shelter. Hopefully, we'll get a decent uh, we get a decent day. We can break down the snow shelter and head to the uh, the dam. Set up at the dam. Go down on the 
go down on the ice and bag another deer we'll have plenty of firewood from the dam so that won't be a problem yeah you're probably right you're probably right in the morning all, all heck will break loose but you know what after you play this game for oh <laughs> After you played this game for so long, man, you just you, you don't even flinch at the stuff anymore. I mean the uh, the ambush attack on the way to the forge, right at the top of the, the mound, there was. I mean, you just <laughs> it just you, you just whack at the thing and hope everything works out, and it did. But uh, I mean the, the the weather it throws at you, and the the ambush every now and again, and. Yeah, I think they, uh, I've noticed they, the weather's kind of kind of tame a bit in the beginning. I think it gives you a chance to get some things together, you know, maybe your boots or and some mittens or something, but maybe some wood and that. But as, as you go along, man, especially what you were saying in, in Coastal Highway there, every day minus 50, I mean, how, how can you... You can't even function. You can't even do anything in that type of weather. No wonder you got whacked out in, in that run. Got the crafting table outside. They give you them pallets three hours to break down them pallets. But it gives you eight hours of wood. So if you got to build a three hour fire, you're gaining five hours out of it. Why the bear kept coming around every time we were at the crafting table or wolves? Now we got some meat to carry down to the uh, oh, the cold and that. Yeah, and you you probably use a ton of wood just trying to get a couple hours of crafting in. Yeah, that outside bench is good for offsetting time, but wow. Well, that's a that's for surely a problem. The wind blows your fire out. There's nothing you could do. Nothing you can do. I was on, I believe it was Jack Rabbit Island. And uh, I had cabin fever. So I went out on the porch and built a 12 hour fire. And no sooner did I get my bedroll put down and the wind blew my 12 hour fire out and it was all gone. 12 hours worth of wood gone. Because the wind, <laughs> the wind wasted it. Yeah, maybe so. You really gotta, you really gotta keep a track of it. You know, I mean, almost, almost at a point where you gotta, you know, write down within your first week what the weather specs were. The second week, I mean, if you truly want to know, run after run after run. Yeah, write it down. First week of weather, you know, what did it average? Second week, third week, and then you'll know for sure. Then you'll know for sure. But I'm truly, truly happy with the uh, the offset hours so far. Three thirteen, three four fifty two. I like to get that outdoor hours up to four hundred. I surely would. I know them. And deer pants take a long time to make. Fifteen, fifteen hours, is it? Plus, if you want to craft more bows, or you know, I got three maple down there. It all depends on how much woods there, and and how the hunting is, and how the wolf action is. Let's go check our other decoy. It should be should be good to go by now. Yeah, that's a ruined. Okay, that 
gives us two decoys. That'll drop for sure the first first thing. Room, yeah. That's guaranteed to drop. But I got a ton of meat. Yeah, my cooking skills are terrible. Still, that's a lot of that's a lot of cooking. I mean, that's that's probably a couple of bears, and I, I throw in a few wolves. I I wouldn't even know how many. But once you start climbing up this, you know, three, four, five, it, it kind of starts going a bit slower. I think. Sometimes, sometimes easy. I ran into the three wolves in my run before on the tracks, and I dropped, but I'm not, I can't, like you, know, like you said, Steve, the, the runs run into each other. I can't remember if I had, uh, you know, scent on me or what, but they were just, they bypassed the decoys, man, and just came at me. And two attacks, and that was it. I was up on the track, so and and they were they were coming. Maybe it was uneven terrain, you know. But uh, we got two good decoys to drop now. All we got to do is uh, get our the meat through. We got a lot of meat out here still. Yeah, I, I'll rethink my strategy next time. We we still got five pieces of steak out here, plus what's on me. What time is it? Wonder if the limbs regenerated. Probably not. Seeing any? Oh, there's one. Got one arrow down. Maybe we can get it for a two. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go. Cold, cold, cold. Alright, well, gave us some fir wood. Let's eat that bit of meat I got. Don't lose any more condition. Yeah, I'm using a, I use a controller so it's, uh, it's down on the cross pad. For that and and as soon as you drop the decoy it also initiates the bow which is a good thing yeah we'll make a we'll see if we can make a move to the dam in the morning he roars out again man Yeah, I think the, the controller makes life a whole lot easier, especially in the attack mode when you're when you're trying to jam that mouse button, man. I think it, I just think the the pad button or the controller button is much easier. It helps you out. It's it's a bit quicker. I'm sure they're probably both the same, but I know uh, when I played when I first started playing a game and I was using a mouse, man, it was just basically. The, the bar wouldn't do anything when you're sitting there clicking the, the mouse button so okay Steve
Yeah, some people, some people prefer the controller. Some people can prefer the mouse and uh, keyboard. I've seen some complaints about the keyboard, though, on the forum about people. You know, it's easy just to push the, you know, kind of nick the wrong key, and uh, and mess yourself up a little bit. So, and I've I've also seen uh, a few complaints about the. Uh, the mouse button also just like I was explaining when you're sitting there tapping the heck out of it and the, and the, the bar doesn't go up at all and uh, the wolf kills you off so people were kind of you know asking questions you know why doesn't the, the the bar go up when you're smashing the mouse button Well, maybe in the morning we can make a move move out of here get down to the dam set up there for a little while get our pants made make a few more arrows maybe get to get a lot of wood together I want to go check the hill behind the dam see if there's anything there it might be a book to read Maybe matches. Who knows? Who knows what could be in there? Maybe nothing. Could be something. Could be nothing. You never know till you look. Let's see what else we got? How many more? I thought I had herbal tea left. Well, I guess not. Unless I put it inside. I didn't think I drank five cups of that already. Hmm. I have to look inside. Make sure I didn't put it somewhere in there. I swear I had herbal tea. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I swear I had some. I'll have to look inside. Make sure we didn't drop it anywhere. I could have swear I had at least two cups left. At least two cups left. Now well, maybe the weather will be with us in the morning and we we'll get to the dam okay. We'll walk the high ridge. I'd like to go down if the if the, uh, if the derailment looks clear. I'd like to go down there and see what's there, but then that means we're down and not up on the ridge. I like to take that ridge all the way to the uh, till it drops us down right close to the right close to the frozen creek and the uh, bridge there. Welcome back, Steve. I'm gonna go get some sleep here soon. As long as we offset the time outside, it's so important. If you don't have the bedroll, I mean, it's so important. Even if you do have it, I mean, don't just rely on the bedroll and just, you know, oh, I'll, I'll get cabin fever and just run to a cave. You might be in a spot where you don't have the wood. Or the food. Or it's just, in, in my opinion anyway, it's just better not to deal with it at all. Better not to get it. Better not to have to worry about it. 
just makes for much more much more fun all the way around sixty two percent we got two hundred calories in that. Two days in Broken Railroad. Where was the bedroll at in the, in the uh, maintenance shop? Yeah, the hunting lodge is the <laughs> hunting lodge is the farthest point on that map, I think. I, I didn't misplace my herbal tea. Yeah, it's a long, it's a long way. It's a long way to that hunting lodge. You, if you don't have the bow and arrow with you, it makes it like a lot harder. up to par. All our clothes are up to par, so... I'm telling you, man, them... This thing dead. Ruined. Okay. I just want to make sure I didn't drop my herbal tea anywhere. I don't need that note. I swear I had herbal tea left. I swear I did. Even if it got ruined, it would still be in your inventory, no? Don't you think? Doesn't look good, first thing in the morning anyway. And I, sw I don't think I drank five cups of tea. I swear I didn't. Maybe, I, I, I swear. When I got back from the forge, I had at least one in the box. Can't say for sure. of coffee left too. What do I got? One cup? Yeah, one cup of coffee left. And plenty of antiseptic. Well, if it blizzards, we'll be put off a little bit.
that's what the lake office camp office here needs an outside uh, workbench that'd be nice but we haven't touched coastal highway there's a little bit of stuff in uh, Pleasant Valley I really couldn't see in the barn I did find a couple things in there, usual things, but yeah, that would be nice. Nice if you could craft your own workbench outside. And who knows? Who knows what's going to be coming in the updates? I, I rumor is updates and uh, update is coming in October sometime for Sandbox. So. But what's going to be in it? I'm not real sure. LMG seems to think maybe Milton will be added, and uh, some maybe some new animals, and hopefully some some more craftables, some new craftables, and more craftables. A lot more stuff that you could you could spend your time doing. I mean, we have a, we 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 got craftables. We can we can make arrow shafts and arrows all day long. But the thing is, you know, I'm trying desperately here to avoid cabin fever. Let's see if we get some we get some decent weather here very soon, and we'll pick up everything and scoot along the top of the ridge. See if we can make it over to the dam unscathed. And we'll set up another snow shelter over there. How many sticks do I have? I need 15 sticks. 29, okay. Start busting up a bunch of wood. See if we get some more some more deer go hunting down there. After we get some wood. Yeah, because he's a master. You got probably he's probably going to be approaching three thousand hours in the game. So, yes, I have noticed that, and I, I, my, my runs are nothing like that. I think I, I abuse the calories a little bit too much, and he just he seems to, uh, he seems to just you know. He's got everything down to a science, pretty much, man. He's down right down to the calorie, you know. And he, you're right. He does. He does have a lot of food. But he knows. He knows every nook and cranny of every map. There isn't a square inch of a map the man doesn't know. And he goes everywhere. I mean, every single place he could go, he goes to. And he finds the stuff also. I mean, let's just say for the sake of argument that uh, he finds 40% more stuff than you do. Because he goes to every of these places that he knows. Every cave, you know, every, every nook and cranny of every map he knows where something might be. So right off the bat, he's probably collecting, you know, 30 to 40% more stuff than, than we are. But he's uh he's he's a master of the game. He doesn't uh he knows every everything everything, so that's that's how he has so much food surplus. He goes to he goes to the places that we normally don't go, he finds stuff. I mean um I seen him find the fish over there past Hibernia. The same fish that uh Turkey stream found, I believe. But uh, he cooked it up and it was good. So, but he's a he doesn't. I mean, there isn't anything. There's nothing anyone anyone could tell him that he doesn't already know. I mean, if you did, if you told him something that he didn't know about this game, it would be where his his Karen is at that he's looking for. I mean, that's probably the only thing that you could tell that man about this game that he doesn't know. 
Yeah, he was, uh, the fish was at zero and he cooked it up and it came back to 50%. So I was shocked at that. And me, I, I'm throwing away a can of peaches that's at 10% on the way back from uh, the forge. So that wasn't a very good move. I, I could have cooked them and, and maybe, but uh, I mean, at that point, I just didn't want to mess with food poisoning. And it was at 10%. And even if you cook it, you know, if your luck goes the wrong way. Well, you cooked up a low, real low percentage can of food and got food poisoning. Yeah, LMG, uh, he did a live stream on Friday. But uh, I was streaming on Friday also, and I'm, uh, oh, you cooked the 0% fish, and it, and it, what, what percentage was it when you ate it, <laughs> and you got sick off it? Yeah, it's a crapshoot, it's a crapshoot, you find that, uh, I mean, if you got the meds, and you don't mind you know, sleeping and not regaining any uh, condition. You brought it back to 48% after you cooked it, you ate it, and it, was, and it gave you poisoning. That's just unfair. I mean, I could see if it came back at maybe 25% or something. Yeah, you get poisoned, but 48, eh, that's borderline, I guess. 48%, you should be able to get by with that. Turkey stream played and he was looking for his guts and he couldn't find him man. He, threw, he forgot the bear was following him and I believe the bear may have uh, may have came and got him unless it was a uh, a bug in the game because he, he dropped two guts up on the boulder and he went back and they were gone that's the only thing I could think of is the bear was following him so I believe the bear probably came up there and grabbed him and he was farther down off the boulder on the ice by that time so the bear might have just grabbed the guts and, and went on his way either that or it was a bug just like Craig went to the coal mine and uh, collected all that coal and he brought it back to the uh, fishing the fishing camp in coastal Iowa and dropped it in the corner of a cabin and it just disappeared. It was gone. 29 pieces of coal or something I think he dropped there and it was just gone. So what happened? The game glitched or a bug or, or what happened? But the coal he brought back was all gone. I haven't heard from Craig in a, in a little while. After that long run he had, I think he packed up the long dark. He may, be, may have had his fill of it for a little while. get warmed up in here and hopefully the weather changes a little bit I don't know I have no idea I know he was I know he was getting kind of aggravated about the CE errors on the console but and then he would just set up the next stream and go on but after the uh, after that long run he had I don't know it probably just probably just got a little Probably just got a little bit too much of the long dark. Put it down for a little. I did. I put it away for several months. I didn't play. So it happens. Get a drink. Sounds a little blustery out there today. 
hard to navigate with a torch out here. And I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that once we start vacating this place and heading across the ridge of the dam, there's going to be at least probably two. There'll probably be two wolves over by the derailment. And they'll hear you. They can hear you up on the hill. And they'll hear you clanking around. I've had it happen. Way, way down on the tracks, all of a sudden, bam, he turns and starts coming right up the hill. And that's with no scent or anything. That's just clanging around. So if there's a couple there, we'll be held up, probably crouching along the top, trying to get some distance. Up the gut. Seventy-seven. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be heavy. Going down to the dam for sure. Let me eat this. We don't lose any more condition. Yeah, there'll be something. There'll be something to impede our way on the, to the dam. That's just the nature of the game. Pretty darn sure I got a wolf, uh, a deer pelt as well as rabbit pelts at the uh, dam and gut. Should all be cured a long time ago. everything and go uh oh nope oh yeah I'm taking everything everything comes with me now it feels like minus 16 Put an arrow down. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking everything. Everything goes to the dam. And then we'll sort out everything there. Yeah, it's going to be a blizzard will be coming. It'll probably blow pretty much for a while and then uh, by the time you get ready to go, it'll be probably a couple hours before dark. After a while, after after a while you play this game, you just don't, you, know, you don't flinch at the stuff anymore. You don't even flinch, you just... Just take it as it comes because there ain't a darn thing you can do about it anyway. Got to wait it out. Three sixty-three and three nineteen. Or four four sixty-three, three nineteen. An arrow up now. Yeah, I like to take everything, everything with me. I'm not, I don't foresee coming back here. I don't foresee leaving here if this weather don't calm down a bit.
Yeah, you can't build a fire if it's too windy. You can't carry a torch. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tangle with two wolves. Not up on a. Not up on the hill. Not up on the rise. I'm not gonna do it. Tried to tangle with three of them and <laughs> down on the tracks and had a bad ordeal. So that's just no good. It was like minus 14. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to take everything. All the guts, all the saplings, if we can. All the cloth. Even the scrap metal. Whetstones. Now oh, where are we at? 83. That's wonderful. Not good, plus we got all this water. Not enough water, too much water. Not taking the books, there's books in the dam. Yeah, that's gonna be a pretty camp office. Camp office don't have much more to give us. Alright, calm down, weather. I think that's everything. Everything we want to take. I'm going to take one of these just to repair our gloves. No, I got it at the dam. I got a rabbit pelts at the dam. snow shelter walking right into the cold as you or the wind as usual can't run no way go. If I got our meat. Yeah, I'll check the workbench drawer too, but I forgot our meat on the on the porch. And I'm awful heavy. And I'm so heavy, man. Hey, Benny. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, we left our steaks on the porch. We gotta get warmed up.
Yeah, it's going okay. We're trying to we're gonna vacate the office uh, camp office today and try to head down to the dam, set up camp there for a while. There's got a uh, got a lot of wood there. Maybe we get back a couple of deers down on the ice. And uh, the cave I want to check out down there too, but we got to get out of here. Man, I wasn't looking, wasn't looking real good on that arrow going down either. Now we'll go check this. Nothing. What do I have that I absolutely don't need? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop. How many, how many lynchings do I got? I know I had some of those. That's bandages. Oh. Now, I know I had some old man lunch and I made up. Yeah, I got five of them. Well, why the hell won't it show me the... here? Or did I just miss it? There, I missed them five. Alright, well, we got two rid of two of the jugs. Of, getting rid of two of those. That's a couple pounds. We're still at 88. this hammer again real quick get rid of one of these logs uh oh get rid of two of the logs all right 84 we're warm let's drink couple antiseptics and some bread books here and one bar of scent. to break down that snow shelter but let's just go try this again I don't I don't know why the antiseptic is so heavy I don't think it's a, a whole liter or anything. I mean,
stay up high, way up high up here, hopefully. We'll get along unscathed. Probably on the ice on the lake or down here by the dam. Is that a wolf over there? More than likely. Okay. Because there's a wolf. We got a sprained wrist. So we can't use our weapon. That's the way it happens to you. You can't run, so I'm not going to worry about the ankle. But now here's the transition. Sticks. There we go. This way, we'll get on the other side of the bridge, and that's a good thing because you can't make a fire on the bridge if you're confronted. So you've got to back yourself all the way, all the way across the bridge before you can build a fire to scare off a wolf if you have to or you want to. Well, we didn't see any deer here, so that's not good right off the bat, but we do have meat.
Okay, we don't need a drink, that's fine. Okay, looking good so far. Other than to the right here, we can't see. Looking okay. So far. Hey, we made it to the dam. Very good. We'll drop some stuff. See if we get warmed up in here. It's the best way to come to the dam. Just climb up the ridge, come all the way across the the ridge like that and drop down the best you can hopefully we got an arrow up in here well yeah that's I got that before here's the here's that we got a few guts maple there's some more tools, books. I doubt there's any readable books there, but ah, I got two <laughs> four toolboxes. so that's unfortunate he had to give us a sprained ankle and on the way He's only got ten more arrowheads left. Eight gut. I think we got eight gut. We got some maples. I don't think there's any readable books here. They're all just fire starting books. Some stones. Go ahead and drop these hides. Drop all the cloth. is a
Oh, come on. What are you going to do? Hide my knife. I can't believe that. The knife weighs a pound itself. that there. I don't want to forget it. Too easy to overlook it there. Too easy to overlook it there. It blends right in with the cabinet. Yeah. We're going to have to build a snow shelter. I need uh, five cloth for that. I want to see if I can build it over here by this uh, roof thing. they'll let me. I'd like to, I wish I could build it inside of here. Nope. I won't let you build it here either, right? It said I had hypothermia. Wanted to build it close to here. Maybe I could build a fire inside of this thing. And it would keep it warm. Now I got hypothermia. books in the inside the dam so but we got the the makings for uh for our deer boot us uh, our deer pants so we can make up the deer pants we'll get some wood and then see if we can do some hunting here maybe hang around the dam for a while If there's enough wood and enough food, maybe we get four, four wolves and get our uh, get our coat together before going to coastal. As long as we got food and wood, there's no there's no sense in pushing. I mean, we got pants to make, and if we could get a coat made, also without getting cabin fever, then we're in that much better shape when we go to coastal. I'm surprised they don't have a workbench out here in the front of this dam. That's puzzling. You got all this equipment and stuff out in the front of this place, but you don't have a you don't have a workbench. A little puzzling. But we made it down to the dam, no problem. 
little low on water again here. Let me see what we let me see what we got out here. Can we? Uh, I want to see if I can make a fire right here. See if it'll keep this shelter warm. Probably right here would be awesome. No. Okay. Do we get to use the magnifying glass? Yes. I just want to make some water while we get a free fire. Make some more water. Oh, <laughs> you know, Steve, they, they used to not come through into the fishing huts and they used to not come over the railings on the porch. I know, uh, I know the, uh, the Aurora Wolf jumps right over the porch railing and gets you. I saw him get Pete like that so all right we're cold Got an arrow up arrow up there we go well I guess you don't have to worry about anything inside of here with the Aurora anyway with the gate or the fence around it, I mean. I, I, I can't, I don't, I, I don't think I drank all of that uh, tea that I had. And that condition is really taking a crap. <laughs> Couple of these. Take as much water as we can. How close do they get before they're scared away? from the gate. Don't they get scared from the open gate? Couple more gallons of water there. If they come almost to the gate and they get scared away. that may change. Alright, let me get a piece of this. How much water do I got? I got plenty. We could drop even some more. Drop that. Grab a torch. Come 
Carpet. All this stuff out here and they don't have an outdoor workbench, it's funny. I always like to slide across this fence, try to get in a, a look at the back of the trailer and everything down there. Sleep. We got wood in here we could break down too. What are we at? We need probably eight. I'm gonna just shoot for eight, I guess. Seven. The heck? That was a short piece. That was a short piece. some we gotta get some deer we gotta get a deer or two that's for sure nine hours let's get the condition up well we'll see see what we can do here eat this beef jerky so we don't lose any I want to bust down a little bit of wood in here another three hours geez sleep I'm sure so check these was one of them locked here yeah. like out here
close the door, turn up our wood off, have planks you can beat up. Actually, I don't know if I want to keep that on me or not. 14 pieces. We got two arrows down. We might have. We might go see if there's a. Go see if there's any deer on the ice here. We're not going to be able to use a magnifying glass to light a torch on the way down here. crates and stuff you can break down around here. That sapling down there? Yeah, two of them. Two maple saplings down there, I believe. Okay. Well... Looks like the fog fog could get heavy. Fog could definitely get heavy on us. This guy, one shot, one kill. Let's get him. Oh, gotta go way over there, don't you? Don't you, my friend? I need you now. Right now. drop here. Not seeing my arrow.
still. He just died. I just heard him die. Somewhere right over here. Halfway across creation for you. No chance of the, uh, It sounds like the wind's gonna pick up. I know I should lit the torch. Hey, other Will, how you doing? Yeah, we uh, we had to wait for this guy to run around for a little while, but we got him. We got him. We got some food now. All we got to do is get it back over to the dam. And hopefully the wind don't ruin everything. That was a crow feather. No crow feathers? Maybe we weren't here long enough. It's all cooked up. Get out of here. I can come back for the hide in the gut. We 
We got one cent bar. Good quality wrench. Yeah, I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna take a chance with the gut and the hide with the weather starting to we can go back and get that that's not a problem we don't really need it right now anyway I mean, it's not essential if it was I would have gotten it all right all right very good got ourselves a deer over here drop our drop our meat Hey, that was good. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to. The wind's starting to kick up. I'd have threw a little bit more wood on the old fire there, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we would have been in trouble. We would have been in trouble. So, I'll we'll drop our wood here. What we got left on us? Not much. Drop it all. Have some sticks here. About 20 of them. I need to go and get them saplings down there. Probably in the morning. Try to go get them guts and saplings and maybe some wood. How are we doing in here? Got an arrow up, alright. Got an arrow up. Steve's a mogul. Oh, we're getting warm. I can I could hear this guy's voice echo. I wish they I wish they would take that away if if possible. Because I turn the voice and the music off so I can hear, you know, better. But every time this guy talks you can still hear it echo in the background. One coin flip will take it all away. Then you'll be <laughs> then you'll be a pauper like me. Wishing you never flipped that coin. Oh, I can't imagine our can't imagine our hours outside really climb that much.
326 to 490. Yeah, we gotta definitely. We gotta get that going. We gotta get the hours out outside going. 337. I'd like it to be 400. 400 what and whatever you know 479 indoors and 400 outdoors i mean i really gotta i gotta shave that margin there <laughs> man look at this guy a winner every time Will's gunning for you, Steve. Yeah, 33 days is a big deal. That ain't nothing. 33 ain't nothing. What do we had here? Anything good? Blizzard survived 14. Falls, frostbite. Hypothermia three times, food poisoning once. 25 hour fire, right? Oh, that must have been at the forge. Almost 100 pounds of meat already. 55 pounds of fish. Let's see how they figure that. I got almost 100 pounds of meat. I ate, <laughs> ate 77 pounds of it already. If LMG had 100 pounds of meat, he'd probably he probably would eat one pound in, in a month somehow. A month of gameplay. He's that good. Yeah, Steve, I did notice that on his his play. He's got he's just got food of uh, tons and tons of food. So he's a uh, he really masters the situation. He doesn't squander a lot, you know, he he'll read here and there and he really uh But the thing is you you gotta remember too, his episodes are a half an hour or or so, you know, when he when he puts them up. Maybe forty minutes if he's got a long one forty five or something, so he you know, he's not actual time for him to play that half an hour you know video he's not going to be eating a lot of that food and stuff so that that contributes to it too you know i'm sure if he did you know a 10 hour stream he would and, and he kept doing stuff he would he would burn through a lot more food quicker but he's he's a master he's a master of the game there's no doubt there isn't anything anybody could tell that man about the game If you find something to tell him that he doesn't know, he would be the first one to admit that he didn't know. I know that, but it would it would probably it would shock the heck out of me because I mean he's uh, he's probably approaching three thousand hours in the game. Oh, Galtaz also. Galtaz is a he's another master of the game. Yes, sir. True masters, these guys are. Nothing phases them. That's the way you gotta do. You gotta approach a game. You don't don't flinch when it throws stuff at you. Yeah, you get mad when you die. You know you don't want to die, but you're eventually you're going to. You're gonna get yourself into a situation, whether it's your fault or or the game is just doing it. But uh, yeah, you stood up on that hill and shit. I, I watched that. He shot those arrows, man. It was it was phenomenal. And now that I have a can opener, I uh, I don't have any cans to open. Well, we might find somebody coastal highway. I'm not sure. I'm not sure rolling in the coastal highway after 30 days of gameplay. What the uh, 
what the food's going to be. I mean, what the uh, the condition of the food is. What the you know all this time. I mean, I believe everything. I'm not sure. I mean, that's that's a question I'd I'd like to ask. Uh, LMG does everything on every map from the beginning of your run, no matter where you spawn at. Does it start degrading all at the same time, or does it start degrading? when you hit the the map you know what I'm saying why what, what what's the matter well not the Aurora out again Not. A couple of saplings down there. I know there got to be maples. There's a stick there. Oh, what the hell? Thought I dropped the sticks over there. Eighty-eight percent that. Uh, Oh, <laughs> is that all? <laughs> it's just a prop. I watched a little bit of uh, his stream that he had Friday, and he was, what was he playing? Ken, uh, Kenneth or something like that? I can't, can't exactly remember the name of what it was, but uh, he didn't have it on. He didn't. He didn't have the uh, the moose hat. He didn't have that on. So that must be just a. It must be just a prop for his. Uh, for his long dark runs. Which I can see. But he didn't have it on when he played the uh, the other game. He streamed. Yeah, I gotta remember. I think he streams every Friday. He might he streams a different, uh, you know, some uh, early access games or something, maybe. Um. <laughs> but I like to uh, I like to chat with him and ask him a couple questions at least, you know, not uh, not take up all his time and and, and that. But uh, I mean, that's definitely one question I'd like to ask him is does does everything start degrading on every map the minute you're spawned I mean or does it start when you hit the map he may, he may not even know that I'm sure he does but I mean sometimes maybe that's something he never uh, I, I thought of you know I don't know but I'm curious to find out And I don't believe I'll, uh, I don't believe I'll get a bedroll until I go to Destillation Point. I truly believe that. I don't believe I'm going to get one unless, uh, I, you know, kill a couple bears. And I, I don't believe I saw the bear at the lake. Now the bear would probably be at Trappers, but there's no wood at Trappers. There's, I cleaned everything out of there. But we got a deer here, and we got to go back and get the guts and hide off of that. And uh, we got to go get them saplings over there. And I'm sure we'll encounter a wolf when we go for the saplings. Nope, no bear yet. If there was uh, if there was wood at Trappers, readily available wood, I would go over to Trappers and see. I'm sure he'll you know he could come by unnamed pond, but without wood, I mean I'm gonna I'm just gonna collect up a bunch of wood here at the dam, try to offset some hours outside, and uh, and we gotta craft up those deer pants. But 
but I just do not don't want to dabble with cabin fever at all. Get a drink. Wonder if we could sleep in here tonight. We had 60%. I don't like sleep at hour by hour. I really don't. I don't think it gives you back the condition that you gain when you sleep consecutive hours. I think you gain more. I truly do. I don't know where he... You know what? He's got a... <laughs> Other Will, if you want one of those, I, I would imagine he has a... Uh, he has a site to go on. His... Uh, can't remember what he calls it but he has a site and I, I would imagine you could probably get one on, the, on his site if you want one if you want the moose hat I didn't I'm not sure what it was if it was like a, a bear I know it's a skin hat of some type I, I wasn't sure if it was a wolf or a bear or a moose I mean it doesn't have any it doesn't have antlers or anything on it which is which makes it cool do you remember if he aimed higher than what the what he should have because I, I've I've seen Michael shoot four flares in a row at a deer or a couple of deers and every one of them went low and I watched uh, turkey stream shoot one also and it went low so I'm pretty sure you have to aim high, higher than than what you think you have to flare gun man you walk around with the flare gun it's always arming and disarming you know clicking back you, you know the hammer and always putting it back I mean to me the uh, flare gun seems like a, a pain Yeah, that's another thing. You don't reload it. Now, well, let's try an hour. Sleep hour by hour. If we can. It's all right. I just don't think you regain the condition back. You do a, you sleep in consecutive hours. Now we got an arrow down. Look at the damn lights are on. The Aurora. At least you're safe in the yard here. The Aurora. Aurora is no good. I do not want to waste a match. I'm not going to cross that.
Not going across that thing. Start a fire and get some more sleep. It's good for wood and hunting, but wolves are around here too. More so than, you know, at trappers or at the camp office. And if you don't if you don't get a deer over here, I mean there's no place to fish, so you're kinda kinda screwed out of that. Okay. Oh, that stinks. Make some more water. and wind. Another 51 hours to get to 400. 51 hours outside. We ain't gonna make another hour out here today, I don't think. Not immediately. Yeah, we didn't gain no. I don't like sleeping like that. You don't gain the condition back like you do. When you sleep 8, 9, 10 consecutive hours, you get more condition back. That once every hour, once an hour stuff is garbage. Tons of wood here you can break up. Makes it really nice. Twelve hours. 
doors. through the dam, I've been through everything here. Search this one. Wow. Ah. Oh, I miss this area. Not that there's anything here. Absolutely shocked. So where I where I looked over here. Get a ton of wood going. Ton of wood.
a lot of time in here. Geez, the whole place gonna fall down or what? Yeah, I've been only thing I didn't look in, I guess, was that desk there, that little area, and, and the only, you know, lockers I couldn't get into, so. How much wood do we get? 47. Sticks, three sticks. A parrot. Twelve pieces of wood, wow, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. These pallets are, they look like shorter stacks than are at uh, Coastal Highway and they give you just as much. pallets over here. The planks. 25 minutes for six. That's why I wanted to, uh, there's a lot of wood, man, a lot of wood here, but, uh, that's why I wanted to build this closer to that roof if I could, try to build the fire inside the roof so the, the wind won't blow it out, but we couldn't do that, we wouldn't let us get it close enough, which is unfortunate. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna, I think we're gonna go on a dam and get a save. And I'm gonna leave it here. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. We'll get them saplings over there, try to get the deer. If the, uh, we got a bunch of wood today, so. We're good for wood. Okay, I thanks guys. Thanks everybody who stopped by and viewed. I, if you liked it, please give a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Always be honest. Uh, and you guys have a good night. Everybody have a good night. And we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Other Will, Steve. Everybody else who's watching and, uh, and who had stopped and gone. Thank you all so very much. And we'll uh, we'll chat with you guys again tomorrow. Okay, guys, have a good night now.